we're live outside Plant Power Fast Food right now. Now I'm about to try the Clover Mint Shake. So let's get in the car and let's get going. Change of plans, everybody. Instead of going to try the Clover Mint Shake, we're gonna have to stay behind and do a sit down video this week because of the coronavirus pandemic. All right, uh, for. Re all right, all right, all right. For real though. Um, put my the input set to. All right, we should be good to go now. Um, but it is dark now. But I had to make this a sit down video because once again, it is because of the coronavirus pandemic. So basically what happens, it, it was, a big proclamation was issued like on the news the other day. The World Health Organization just declared it to be a pandemic and uh, now everybody's freaking out. Uh, all the store shelves are empty uh, only because of the virus pandemic itself. Ah. I'm trying to be as hygienic as possible. So... Once again, just be sure to wash your hands and um, wash them often. Um, always remember. <laughs> um, with soap, did you dry them? Well, I hope I hope to dry them too. <laughs> but once again, I do apologize if the video did not go as planned. This totally came by um, almost unexpectedly to like many of us. And, uh, I mean, I do have some archive footage before the thing, and that's something you might have to get used to. Any archive footage that I've been saving for summer, I might have to push them forward because of it. Because we don't know how long this is going to last. I don't know either. And, um, and before I know it, our region could go into a lockdown, and... Um, and if that happens, um, of course the videos will get a bit boring, but we're going to make it fun. We're going to, we're going to get through it. Like we've had almost a near major outbreak years ago. So like we had, like, this is probably the worst it's been since the swine flu in 2009, 2010 ish. We managed to get through Ebola in 2014. We managed to get through Zika in 2016. Both viruses were contained within four months. But the coronavirus is out of control. It's already reached Mexico as well. And if it reaches Tijuana, which is like literally up, I don't know, multitude miles south of us, then we can all be worried because then the South Bay area can also be broken up. Like, community transmission has already began to occur. And everybody is flocking. Like, hand sanitizer flying off the shelves. And it won't be long until these go away quickly, too. I know how else I'm saying this. But actually, I did, however, manage to try the Clover Mint Shake a little while back, and I'll show you a picture of it right about now. And it actually tasted good. And I want to do this virtually after I did it, instead of videotaping that. All out of the fear, of course. But the thing of it is, it's, it's going out of control because we're in colder weather. And viruses tend to spread during colder weather. And at this point, there really is no end, end date in sight. I mean, it's going to be cold throughout the rest of the month over here. And it's going right into the next month. 
And even if it predicts that it warms up, it actually cools down again. It stays that way until like July, and then it goes back, and then it goes up for real, and then it stays that way till like October or something. I think it went something like that. But then also a bunch of soccer leagues have also been cancelled and or suspended. And the LA cases have went up to 53. Just now let me grab the Instagram thingy because I know I have the meme saved somewhere so I could bring that up. Alright, here we go. Suspensions so far. Premier League, UEFA, UEFA Premier League, UEFA Champions League, UEFA Europa League haven't suspended the, the magnificent finals that have come to be televised worldwide are a big question mark. Cancellation is likely. Uh, La Liga suspended, which also means Real Madrid suspended, Barcelona suspended, Serie A suspended, League One suspended, Euro 2020 likely to be canceled as well. Coachella rescheduled to October. And a bunch of other leagues here back home also in doubt and in jeopardy. Wango Tango is also in jeopardy. They have not said anything about Wango Tango yet as of now, which means it might likely be canceled due to the coronavirus. Which is, oh well, it happens. <sighs> so basically, a um, bunch of public gatherings have already been scheduled to occur through the end of the month, also canceled by order of the public health department. And also, for many places, you can order Uber Eats or you can get Instacart and you can order groceries online. Um, availability pending, but... Just to keep everyone safe. And with that, we have we're gonna go ahead and do term of the week. So basically, I've been prepared to say this term for like the longest time, and I'm if. This was to be proclaimed, and now that it has, the term of the week, sadly, has to be transmission. Which is basically the action or process of transmitting something or the state of being transmitted. Or the mechanism by which power is transmitted from an engine to the wheels of a motor vehicle. So... Definition number one applies in this case. And let me tell you something, it's actually contagious. Like, like it, it happens through respiratory droplets, which actually can float in the air, so... So that's something to be considerate about. But other than that, um, thanks for watching this very informal and possibly very long sit-down video. I know this was very... Um, unexpected, but in, in my mind, I actually saw this coming. I know I've been I ran out of words <laughs> for this, but thank you guys so much for watching for real. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys next week. Bye.